Hit the brake, hit the brake. This dude is not. This dude was not looking. Hi, Jerry. I'm going to start out my cheese sauce with a whole lot of butter. You're going to think I'm crazy. But, but it just feels so good being able to like, ah, 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 what happened? Let's do a really quick taste test because I literally didn't even taste it. Like, it's mini. Hi, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. Today is the 16th of May and it is exactly 10 12 a.m. I have spent the last couple of days uh, filming some vertical content, planning a few things out. One of the members of my team, my assistant, gets done with her tenure with me at the end of this month. Um, in the period of which I also have my offline makeup masterclass, I want to make sure that my office room is well organized, inventoried for all the PR. I'm planning to unbox a whole lot of PR today, which is going to be a separate video. You're going to definitely see me in the same shirt in that video, so you'll know it was shot on this day. Um, I have been in between hiring for a couple of positions and taking interviews and stuff, and I just feel like I haven't met the one as yet, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm actually debating, thinking, considering uh, that even after my current assistant's notice period is done, which is in the next couple of weeks, I should just stay assistantless for a little bit till I actually meet someone that I think, okay, this is the person who will get it. I met two such candidates where I thought it could work, but then because of different reasons, it didn't fully click. Um, and I just don't want to force myself to hire someone that I'm not entirely convinced of, if that makes sense. So I'm planning to take it slow, which also is weird because I'm not going to be taking it slow if I'm going to be assistant list for a while. I'm going to be neck deep in things, but that's okay. I feel like that's a risk I'm willing to take because I would much rather have that than accidentally hire someone that I don't think fully fits in the team. You know what I mean? Um, that's where the work situation is at. On the personal front, there's definitely some updates. I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys have been watching me for that long because there's definitely new people coming into the channel and thank you and welcome for coming and joining WFAM. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that. It really helps the girl out with the algorithm because then like it signals to the algorithm and the platform that okay people like her vlogs so please consider hitting that like button if you're enjoying my videos subscribing turning that bell notification on it just really truly technically helps my channel a lot um on the house front there have definitely been some updates i know i've vented to you guys about house help a bunch of times we did find someone eventually who you'll meet at some point she joined us on the 8th of May, so she's been with us for 8 days now, like a week. Um, and that seems to be going well, but I don't want to jinx it. So alhamdulillah, 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 and let's see how it goes. In general, I've talked multiple times about chemistry being the need when it comes to housework as well. Um, another thing that I don't know if you guys remember is, since last year, I've talked about wanting to move. Um, wanting to get a bigger house. We've considered various options. We've considered putting this house on rent and renting a bigger place. We've considered selling this and buying a bigger place. We've considered keeping this and somehow still buying a bigger place. All of these options have been up in the air and uh, we need to navigate what exactly it is we want. We obviously do know that we want a bigger house which is um, a need if you guys have seen my studio room and office room and in the declutter vlogs and all of that, you know I'm perpetually running out of space. One of the biggest factors also is the fact that Jerry's parents don't live in Bombay and they could visit a lot more often if we had space. So every time they come, which to be honest has only been two or three times in the last five years of us living in this house, uh, six years of us living in this house. We moved into this house on 31st of May 2018. Uh, so mashallah, 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 it's going to be six years now. So the thing is, they could come a lot more often if we had that extra guest room, which we don't. As of right now, the two to three times that they have come, Jerry and I land up sleeping in um, the living room and they take the bedroom. Obviously, they always tell us, no, let us sleep here. Y'all continue to sleep in the bedroom. But obviously, as kids, we're not okay with our parents sleeping on the sofa. Jerry and I would much rather be on the sofa and have them in the bedroom 100%. Uh, but I just wish I could tell them to come more often. 
you know what i mean and having space for that is so crucial and if you're not from bombay you know that at least you know even if you're not from bombay that our homes are basically like matchboxes right we're like the new york of mum of india when it comes to living um sizes we pay extraordinary amounts for our uh, property because it's really really expensive but it's also not exactly spacious unless you are someone who's incredibly rich and lives in one of those areas or has one of those homes uh, or just you know has those kind of privileges regular homes just aren't that big anymore especially in these newer buildings my building is a newer building it's only a 7 year old building so it definitely has more compact rooms like when we used to live at cart road with my family growing up from age 3 to age um 14 we lived at cart road in a two bedroom my mom my dad my brother and i and those rooms were like big right we had a two bedroom house and then my we we moved uh, from there to a slightly bigger house for a three bedroom but even though the house was bigger and it had a bigger it had one more room the rooms were smaller than we had at the cart road house <laughs> and then from that house when i moved out and bought this place again it's a two bedroom just for two people which is great but the rooms are definitely more compact this is what keeps happening with like newer buildings um i think everywhere obviously not just bombay but in hamare ghar pehle se chote the unko aur chota 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 compact 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 kiya ja raha hai all to say that we're in between contemplating two houses that are on our shortlist and we don't know what we're doing about it we don't know if we're doing anything and if we're doing we don't know which way to go about it um we're just thinking we're thinking a lot because it's a huge life decision to shift again <laughs> so we're just figuring everything from finances to circumstances to choices to see what's worth what um and all of those things coming to today's agenda Wow, my vlogs always start off on such a chatty, updatey note. I've been jabbering, jibbering, jabbering, jibbering, jabbering, chatting for almost seven minutes now. Um, today's agenda. Today's agenda is to try and fully, fully. I don't need to declutter, but I just need to reorganize my studio room quite a bit. I want to update the inventory. We have an Excel sheet that has every single item in PR. Um, lots of giveaways are ready and sitting with me. I want to start posting them, sharing them. Um I want to make more giveaway goodie bags and kind of just figure from there. Uh what else needs to be done? What else needs to be done? What else needs to be done? Uh I might meet a friend for lunch if she's free. She's going to swing by. Ria, of course you guys know who that is. I have two ajwa dates over here that I need to finish having. And I'm not shooting today because I did shoot yesterday. I didn't vlog the last 4 days purely because I was shooting vertical content as I mentioned. um and there's just been a lot going on on this house front and this front and that front i was supposed to be in australia for about fourish weeks fiveish weeks with my mom uh between perth and melbourne i was supposed to be leaving end of may uh but because of a few different things projects this house stuff lots of things going on at the same time uh, i decided to stay back my mom is still definitely going um and i'm going to miss her so much because she'll be gone for like those many weeks we were looking forward to a mother daughter get away this time which would have been so amazing if it happened because our like my mum's side of the family uh, one of her cousins and her real sister both live in australia um so that would have been amazing but it cannot happen because work and things have come up over here but it's okay we'll figure it out i'm going to get to some admin work and catch up with you in some time convincing jerry to let me get him this t-shirt because it is so him 
है ना क्रिसमस ट्री जेरी ऑन योर बर्थडे कम ऑन टेल दम आई एम नॉट सिलेक्टिंग एनी थिंग ट्वेंटियथ ऑफ मे एंड इट इज इलेक्शन डे इट इज वोटिंग डे आई प्लान ऑन लिविंग द हाउस इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन एस मिनट्स इट्स अबाउट वट्स द एग्जैक्ट टाइम इट मस्ट बी लाइक एट थर्टी एम आई वॉन्ट से और एट फोर्टी एम एट फिफ्टी वन ए एम एग्जैक्टली स्पीकिंग एंड जेरी एंड आई आर गोइंग टू लीव वीव एक्चुअली बिन असाइंड इन डिफरेंट सेंटर्स बिकॉज माई वोटर्स आई डी इज स्टिल रजिस्टर्ड टू माई पेरेंट्स हाउस and uh, that voter that voting center is right behind my parents house versus jerry's got in something very close by as well so i'm going to drop jerry to his voting center at pali hill and then head to mine right after uh, the agenda for today has been to shoot which i do want to do i do have two things for clients that do absolutely need to get done today i'll probably do those in the afternoon both of them mostly or at least one of them and then the second one can still happen tomorrow kind of like feeling like a shitty vlogger since 2 3 days because i've only been catching snippets and not really sitting down and talking to you guys or even taking my camera around the way i do also because when i went to the mall on um saturday evening it's not like they would allow the camera inside anyway but like i haven't been talking talking so much because i've been a little bit low i've been a little bit like between a few verified things taking care of a few health things um there's just been a collection of things going on on the back burner that i don't necessarily want to dive into or can dive into at the moment there was one of the things that i was working on for a launch of verified that needed to come to life towards the second half of the year and it looks like there might be a delay on that so i'm kind of bummed about that as well um yeah that's kind of where i've been so in case i look a little bit low on energy i just want to let you know why because i'm very transparent about these things with you i may not be able to get into the nitty gritties of the why and how and all of that but i would like to tell you that this is the frame of mind i've been in um i tried to use my wax stick to do this exact hair yesterday and it left like white bits on me i'll insert a picture of it over here i've had it for so long and i keep giving it like two three goes and i feel like when i use very little of it it works well but if i really want to like slick down the shit out of my hair it leaves the white stuff which is really 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 annoying so i'm using this um Hydra filling hyaluronic acid night cream I can leave a link to it down below it's from L'Oreal um and I really like it I did not do any sponsorship with them when they launched but I know that they did a lot of stuff on socials and I really 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 like this product the only and only and only downside to it is that if you put a lot of it in your hair in the night while like going to bed which is I think the way they recommend it right it says overnight yeah hydra filling night cream if you put too much of it while your hair feels so soft and so smooth um it will definitely start like uska jo fall hai it will definitely start to feel a little bit limp so use it i love it i love the formula but i would say don't put too much because otherwise you will um land up ah oh god why did i do that oh then one moment with the comb goes through in ruin so it's okay i think i can see it so yeah i would highly recommend it in general but just make sure you don't put too much if your hair wash isn't near my hair wash when i got the other day when i went to go get my nails you must have seen it in one or the other vlog i've lost track of what i've posted in which vlog um i wasn't happy with the hair wash at all the girl who was doing my hair wash did a very shortcut quick quick job so 
it has barely like the effect of a hair wash which typically lasts me like six days barely lasted me like three four days so i'm gonna go get another hair wash tomorrow i'm trying not to wash my hair at home um i actually really do enjoy getting my hair washed at a salon it's one of those small little joys i give myself every now and then i go through phases where i like a normal person wash my hair at home and there are phases where i allow myself that little bit of a spoiling myself session the salon i go to actually isn't that expensive they charge uh the one i went to to get my nails done paint box i swear sorry i need to give my car keys hang on the salon i go to for my hair washes typically if it's not at nisha's in car i go to uh sammy's sam's sammy's they have two one at ambedkar road and one towards um union park they're both technically like Ambedkar Road in a sense. I go to the one next to uh, Sarvodaya, next to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar statue because I feel like the staff there is better. Uh, I haven't loved the other branch service so much. I have Nibu over here next to me getting some meaty meaty. Oh meaty. Do you want some meaty meaty? So yeah, I feel so good talking to the camera and catching you up properly because I've been vlogging in bits and pieces. And literally this morning when I woke up, I was feeling a little bit unwell. um just the tiredness of like banging my head against the wall for different things over the past few days more than anything else but i just feel so good being able to like ah ah, ah what happened nibbles wants to nibble what happened mummy what happened it just feels so good to be able to just vent it out to you and tell you that listen this is where i've been and this is why i haven't been like vlogging like me i've been vlogging but it doesn't feel like me like even yesterday on sunday i shot a what i eat in a day video if that's up i'm leaving a link to that down below but like i was feeling like i didn't vlog vlog but i only literally stepped out to meet like a acquaintance colleague new friend kind of a uh, situation and i obviously wasn't going to vlog her cuz like it's a little bit still more formal meeting someone for the first time so i'm obviously not going to vlog them but yeah i did a what i eat in a day shorts for you guys hi jerry Hey Anna. Are we ready to go? Yes, we are ready to go. All right then. I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. I want to try and film my client pieces today if nothing else. And uh, I really want to sit and just organize. I don't keep saying this. You guys must be thinking ki kitna organize karti hai apne studio room ko, but to be honest, wo studio room mein har dusre teesre din alhamdulillah, of course I'm grateful for it aur PR aa jata hai. एंड uh, उसको गिव अवे में क्या डालना है फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली में क्या डालना है माई मॉम्स गिविंग फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया उसमें क्या डालना है टू सेंड टू माई कजन्स एंड आंट ओवर दै कॉन्टेंट के लिए क्या हटा के रखना है पर्सनल यूज के लिए क्या रखना है इट्स एन ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट मंथ आई एम होपिंग दैट थिंग्स विल बी इवन स्मूदर टू बी ऑनेस्ट बिकॉज आई एम आई थिंक आई मैंशन दिस अगेन इन दिस ब्लॉग वन माई अर्लियर ब्लॉग्स आई हैव लॉस्ट ऑल सेंस ऑफ timeline in my head i feel what is going to happen what has landed up happening is that i have not landed up hiring a new assistant and so i feel like i'm going to land up physically executing a lot more rather than just supervising and while that might sound like a disadvantage in some levels cuz mujhe khud se aur karna padega kaam uh, i also feel like it's an advantage cuz it will take me back a layer down to physically keep an eye on things and make sure things work the way i want them that i see as a huge advantage because you know supervising is one thing but when you do things yourself wo apne hi hisab se hote hain exactly to the t so kind of excited for that also okay i'm going to go get my bag and we're going to leave for the voting center obviously cannot vlog there going to have to leave my phone in the car in fact uh, i'll catch up with you thodi der mein we're back home look at his t-shirt i love it i love 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 his t-shirt I have the same one by the way I just forgot to wear it and he did Jerry why you didn't remind me to wear this t-shirt you should have we would have been matching and twinning then But we were matching and twinning in our polling stations no Yeah that's true we went to two separate polling stations someone over here voted for the first time ever today because he didn't have a permanent address earlier to get his voting thing done at and since we shifted here he finally got it done Did you enjoy your voting experience Yes Was it exactly like you imagined I didn't imagine anything. Are you serious? Why would I imagine? I imagine lots of things like before they happen. I like to think of how it will go. I I'm a big I'm a big I'm a big fan of just like visualizing things before they happen. You're crazy. I'm not. 
crazy. I mean, like, just don't you visualize things before they happen? You're like, oh, it'll be like this and it'll be like that. What happened, Nibu? Baby. You've made it to Viral Bhayani's page. Neera, behind Neera. <laughs> you knew? I knew they were taking photos now. <laughs> you need to see the video. I just sent oh, it on the group chat. Please see. Situation. Stop watching see my vlogs. Watch the video. You've been papped. You made it to Viral Bhayani's Instagram. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, that's why I got that yeah. voting center. His voting center is different from all of our voting centers for some reason. <laughs> mm. These paps, I tell you. <laughs> Hi, hello. New angle unlocked? Question mark. Um, I just did my hair. I've been kind of obsessed with doing these slick packs, but I'm torn between whether they make me look like a chumpu or whether they actually look nice. I feel like when I have my makeup done, they make me look sleek and slick and nice. But when I don't have any makeup on, I look a little bit chumpu. So that's where I'm torn. Um, I'm wearing this t-shirt from a recent haul. If you remember, leave a comment down below with this little purple heart. If you don't, I'll leave a link into the t-shirt only down below for you. So that's easier. I love how it says, hello, I'm tired. Because that is literally how I feel in this Bombay ki garmi these days. It is not fun, you guys. The hot day. And it's not like switching the ACs on is exactly the best solution, I'm going to be honest, because it's cold in the house, like it's nice in the house, and then the minute you step out, you're going from intense thandi to intense, intense, intense garmi, and you're like, shit, and my migraines have been so bad recently because of it. Anywho, today I have some energy and I've taken it upon myself to get through a laborious <laughs> task list, but I'm very excited for this laborious task list because I haven't had a day like this in a in a couple of weeks now i'll tell you everything that i'm hoping to get done with today okay uh, there's a new foundation that i want to apply so that i can like kind of test it out see how it sits on me it's the rare beauty one by the way vlog fam, fam always knows first and i'm going to see how it kind of fits so while i'm applying it the first time uska footage le lungi fir baad mein uske review ke liye alag se main uh, ye karungi uska vertical content le lungi um, there are some new eyebrow pencils i received in pr which also i want to apply and see there are some new lip pencils so lots of new products that I'm making it a point to do reviews on vertical content is gonna get hot I promise um, so there's like four different beauty products in that sense uh, five sorry one I've already got snippets of I want to film the review of that so five shark tank I video hai uska mujhe intro exit lena hai uh, I am in the middle of one big haul which you may or may not have seen already by the time this vlog goes live Uske last two pieces aane hai, mujhe try karke uska footage beech mein dalna hai, edit mein so that I can take the video live Mujhe ek client ke liye YouTube integration film karna hai which I'm very excited about because I really love this product and then mujhe dermako ke liye ek real film karna hai because I've picked my top three favorite dermako products and they wanted me to do a reel for their sale so I selected which three because I know what I love the most and I'm going to film that reel today also it is quite an action packed day and I hope I can get through this list I hope my migraine doesn't kick in I hope I'm okay because the head space and um, health space has been a little up and down of late and the heat is an insane trigger Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go and start filming the skincare part of things so that I can start filming the real. That's where I'm at. It has been such a productive day. I'm feeling great. I finished everything I wanted to do and I managed to film another long video featuring someone over here who is currently driving me for the fourth time. We're going to my mum's place. I have to tell you what's happening. So basically, my mum is leaving for the trip that would have been a mother-daughter trip. Um, she's leaving for Australia in the next three days. So I'm on my way to her house, to my parents' house, 
to help them, to help my mum uh, pack because she hasn't been to Australia before. She doesn't know what to pack for. Well, she knows what to pack for, but she's just one of those people that prefers for me to be around to help her to say, ye lo, ye nahi lo, do some outfit pairings. It's like a prep and pack mother daughter edition for the mother um, so I'm quite excited for her trip I'm feeling full FOMO because I don't feel FOMO when it comes to friend things but I feel FOMO when it comes to family things very easily and I feel like I wish I was able to go but I'm also it's okay it's all good everything works out Alhamdulillah and Inshallah both um, so I'm excited for her trip I am gonna go ahead and leave hit the brick hit the brick this dude is so this dude was not looking, so like you have to hit. I know, I'm, I'm seeing it. When okay. you say hit the brick, hit the brick. Okay. Um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave my mother's Instagram handle on the screen right now. If you are not following her, go follow her because she's actually very active on Instagram. Um, and she loves to post stories and reels. And I can totally imagine her sending me from Perth and Melbourne, sending me like videos and saying, Iska reel bana ke do, iska ye bana ke do, what song should I put on this? She always does stuff like that. So I can totally imagine. Okay, so I'm gonna spend some time here in the car navigating as much as I can um, and I will vlog back in, check back in from my parents place. Not the 22nd of May, it is the 22nd of May, exactly at 6.39 p.m. It was 8 and then it just became 6.39. I haven't really chatted with you at all today. Um, I have a couple of updates to give you. So, number one, and I'm saying this because I think naturally I'm posting my vlogs a little bit aage piche at the moment through April and May because the wedding vlogs came in the middle and then there was some other content, like just content kind of staggered out. Um, you guys are so sweet commenting on vlogs that I'm posting at the moment saying I hope you find the house help, I hope you find the house help. Literally 10 days ago, in present tense, I found someone who is working with me and I'm very hopeful this could work out. Inshallah, I don't know, let's see. The reason I'm saying inshallah is because I think you guys know sometimes we plan for one thing and think one thing's gonna happen and then something completely different happens. It looks good so far and I'm keeping my fingers crossed so please send me lots of good juju. The other major life update that I have to give you is that and I think I mentioned this in passing is that my health has not been the great greatest because of migraines. The heat is such an aggressive 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 trigger. Literally since 10 a.m. the AC has been on. I just put the AC off two minutes ago. Just even opening the door, going into the other room where the AC is not on makes you, throws me into this hot versus cold. Like even now, two minutes of sitting without it and I'm already like, okay, now I'm feeling like ghabrat or I'm feeling like what is going on. Um, my head is just all over this space, the, the space, the place in a sense that I'm trying to figure is there a permanent remedy, I mean not permanent remedy but is there something I can do to help with the solution towards my heat triggered migraines. Other things that trigger me are like loud sounds really trigger me, loud like flashing lights really trigger me sometimes, not all times, flashing lights are the least of my triggers I should say. This has not gone so I'm gonna obviously like have to let it, let it be but I'm also not loving the nails as much as I think I've already mentioned in the previous vlog. So I want to go and get this done. Um, one of the things that is happening, and I think this vlog is going to go up in May only at some point, so I can tell you this, is that I'm trying to make 
I don't want to commit commit because I'm trying to post extra content in June for my birthday. It is my birthday month in June. Um, June is my birthday month rather. I should put it like that. I'm trying to post like extra fresher content and extra content. I'm going to vlog every single day in a in my typical style which I know I haven't been able to do in the last 10 12 days because of my migraines. Um I'm also planning a few things that would be hopefully interesting for you to see and it's not just my birthday month it's also Jerry's birthday month. Jerry's birthday is on the 4th of June. So it, as soon as the month starts it's his birthday. Um I don't know what I'm planning. He's in the bathroom which is why I'm like whispering and still not saying but still saying. Um that's where the sitch is at as I always say. I also I'm going to miss my mom so much. She leaves in the next 3 days. And I'm going to miss her so 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 much because she's going to be gone for a month. I mean, I'm so happy for her that she's getting the holiday she deserves so much. I have been shopping quite a bit. Some hauls you'll see now, some hauls you'll see later because things are coming in parts. I'm also really hoping that one of my cousins who said they were going to visit me might be able to visit me. I don't know. So many things all happening at the same time, you guys. So many things just happening at the same time. The verified launch that I want to do around my birthday also we're a little bit stuck on the final detail of that. Everything, like let's say, ninety five percent of the job is done, and that last one percent, like not one percent, five percent clearly, I'm waiting to kind of fine tune and close because if I don't close that this week, then I'm not going to be able to launch in time for my birthday. which is really going to upset me because i want to have this is my birthday launch um let's see let's see let's see so between health and verified and helping mom trying to get a few other things and projects going the september october project that we have for um the verified launch is also really like is getting me excited but it's also making me really 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 nervous because that's a whole new category that we've never gone into excited but i'm also very intimidated by it yeah um i have a meeting with the youtube team at 7 pm so like in about 17 minutes and um going to i had some chai i'm going to have something to eat before that probably catch up with you a little bit later tomorrow is a special day by the way tomorrow is a very special day tomorrow's vlog is going to be all right tomorrow's vlog tomorrow's day is going to kick the birthday month feelings off for me i will let you watch the next one and not put any spoilers here have this urgency to have cheese pasta for dinner tonight and i just did some really quick preps in the kitchen let me show you what i have done over here jeshri hi bologe camera pe hi bol do hi <laughs> we have um ee ban kar diya usko welcome put the i put the i put the little macaroni non maida made whole wheat macaroni to boil over there with a little bit of namak I melted some butter over here. I'm making some lassan ka paste. Jayshri is making, and then we're gonna put this on the bread, on the toast. I have the grated mozzarella uh, cheese going on over here, and of course the dough is in the fridge. So when I actually get around to doing stuff, I'll try and show you guys what I'm up to. I always start out my cheese sauce with a whole lot of butter. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but उतना तो वापरे जाएगा ही जाएगा. के साथ ही I'm putting in some milk. Let's mix these two together. I also have my cheese over here. Let's go ahead and put that in because I want it to be really nice and cheesy. ये चीज को खत्म ही कर लेती हूँ. इतना सब बचा के क्या फायदा? Along with all of this, let's put in some cream, some fresh amul cream. Now I'm making a pasta where it's literally just cheese sauce and pasta. Here, lelo, please. Mm -hmm. But if you want to put mushrooms, baby corn, absolutely anything and everything, any meat, you can put that in as well. Mix it all up. Let the sauce become one. I'm not adding any salt because the cheese and the butter are both very salty components. What I will go ahead and add um, is some oregano, 
herbs, seasoning. If you want to add paprika, you can add some paprika, some chili flakes, that kind of stuff can get added in now. And my pre-boiled macaroni. So also gonna share it for us a company on which you know for a banana few, that's not a problem. Toasting the bread over here, we've mixed up the garlic pieces with the butter, melted butter over here. So it's like basically like butter garlic toast. Now I know this doesn't look wow on camera, but it smells amazing and I will give you a proper legit taste test to get my reaction. Because listen, I have been having this recipe for years now. My mommy taught it to me centuries ago, I want to say, and it is delicious. How does it smell? It's quite nice. Cheesy macaroni. Would you like some? Yeah. You don't like cheese, do you? <laughs> I'm okay with cheese. You're moody about cheese. Yes. But you haven't put your flakes. I have it inside. Okay, like I said, I've had this for years, this exact recipe. I just keep changing up the seasoning as in when I want to wait. I want to take a picture first. I'm making pasta at home after a little while. Let's do a really quick taste test because I literally didn't even taste it in the kitchen. Want to taste some? Come. Nice. And my garlic bread looks absolutely... Mm. Delicious! I am gonna go eat. We are watching Monk. I love you so much. I love mm -hmm. you too. The crunch. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna see you tomorrow morning. It's a super exciting day. You gotta come back to the next vlog to know exactly what I'm talking about. Bye!